Hi everyone, my name is Pepe Franiyani and I have been a teacher for over 20 years. I'm a literacy leader and in my spare time an education blogger. In these two minutes I'd like to share with you my top 10 tips for teachers' well-being. I'm sure you've come across many tips about maintaining one's well-being and you may be wondering what more does someone have to say about it? Well first and foremost, before I start, I want to highlight the importance of addressing the cause for teachers' lack of well-being. The main cause for lack of teacher well-being is the ever-growing, unrealistic demands of the education system. If real change is to take place and teachers are to achieve this state of well-being within the system, then I believe the system itself needs to change to its core. But this is a discussion for another time. Without claiming to be an expert, here are my top 10 tips for well-being that have worked for me and will hopefully work for you too. Don't be afraid to say no. This will allow you to draw a line if you have taken on too much and will help you to maintain a healthy work schedule. Speak up if things are too much. Avoid keeping it all in. Ask for help. Be open to help from colleagues, friends, anyone around you. Prioritize to-dos and know that something might have to give. Find outlets to let off steam. Fun fact, the ancient Greeks famous saying, Nusi yi and somati yi stands true to this day can only have a healthy mind in a healthy body. And this brings me to number six. Take care of yourself by eating and sleeping well. Switch off from work and take time to recharge and meet up with friends. Prioritize your well-being. If you know, no one else will. Know that you have your ups and downs and that some days will be easier than others. Always find something positive to come back to and hone in on. This will keep you focused and help you stay motivated. I hope that these top 10 tips will help you find your way to well-being. Mm -hmm.